Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Bane, his powers, his movement and his weapon. So, first of all, he is acrobatics and his weapon is brawling with his own unique animations I guess. Try that out on the power girl over there. Nice, nice green animation. Okay, so let's now have a look at um, Bane's powers. Uh, ground slam. Knocks down and damages enemies with a brutal downward blow. So you're going to need to get in close for this. And as you can see there, it's a nice kind of animation, a big smash of damage. So it should knock them uh, down like away and then down onto the floor. As it did the first time, but didn't work the other time. So let's do some other moves and let's try it again. There you go. So it knocks them back. So the second power is Battle Roar. Knocks down, stuns and damages enemies with a roar of uh, vicious force. So it's got quite a lo uh, long sort of cooldown on it. <coughs> and it's one of those kind of powers where when you use it you kind of are stuck in the animation so as you can see I can't move I'm trying to move and for for a good couple of seconds there you you can't um, you can't move so you have to be aware maybe when you're doing a 1v1 it's okay but when you're when there's two versus one and you're doing that to one someone else can get around the back of you and start doing damage So that's that power. Let's have a look at the next one. Seismic Slam. Rips up a throwable chunk of ground with a violent ground slam. Okay. So it's like one of them ones where you've got the uh, piece of chunk of rock above your head. So you can either throw this or you can smash it onto the floor. So if you smash it. get that and it should do it should do damage to a few enemies if they're quite close together but you can't throw it no more I thought you used to be able to throw it but maybe it's just me maybe I got that wrong I haven't used Bane for quite a long time now I haven't used him probably for nearly a year now that power so that's the uh, seismic slam uh, crushing lunge unleashes a brutal lunge that knocks down your opponents uh, so if we lock on and go from range it'll bring us from range up close and it knocks down your opponent as well let's move away from let's try and move power go away from this wall you can see a bit better. Um, so you can use it from going from ranged up close. If you use your normal lunge, uh, hold square, you'd get about 200, 200 or so damage. 231. If you use this one, you get about 100 or so more in damage. And it knocks them down. Whereas I think the normal lunge didn't knock down at all. Oh no, it did as well. But you get more damage by doing that one. And it should do damage to a few enemies in that, that area as well. Uh, where you see that green bit. That green circle. 
Right, so the next power is um, Venom Up. Enrages you, infusing you with altered venom to increase your size, precision, and critical hit damage range. So this is a, a supercharge. Not all Legends characters have these. Pretty much, uh, well, actually, there's not a lot of uh, uh, Legends characters that have these. And uh, this is quite a nice uh, supercharge. He gets a bit bigger. He can't be damaged while you're in that state, like growing. And his attacks are even stronger now. Um, and while he's in that state, he can take damage, but um, it's, it seems to be a lot harder to uh, to kill him. And he does seem to do a lot more damage. So that's Venom Up. Uh, Venom Clap damages enemies over time and grants you supercharge within range by splashing your enemies with Venom. Uh, so sorry, let's read that again. Damages enemies over time and grants you supercharge within range by splashing your enemies with Venom. So does this nice big clap and it does um, damage over time. Obviously, to build up your supercharge, what you need to do is you need to get that hit combo up. Uh, the higher the hit combo, it goes into other ranges. See, it's an orange one at the moment. Now it's in superhuman, yellow one. Uh, the higher that gets, the uh, the faster you get a supercharge back. So if you go into passive buff, you, you can see you're getting uh, more supercharge back. You can see it in the uh, combat log there as well, that you're getting 10, 10 supercharge. So obviously... You wanna, if you wanna be doing uh, Bane's supercharge often, you need to uh, build up his um, his hit combo, which is uh, with his weapon. So as you can see, the bar underneath uh, at the top there, top uh, left, it's going up quite fast. Or if you look at the icon at the bottom there, you can see it's going up really fast there. Obviously, the the higher you get with the hit combo, the uh, quicker you're gonna build that up. Bring Power Girl back and we'll do that supercharge one more time. Let's do that Venom. What is it called? That last power, Venom Clap or something? Venom Clap. Damages enemies over time and grants you supercharge within range by splashing your enemies with Venom. Let's just wait for the cooldown and we'll do that up close. It's quite a nice power damage over time and that as you can see oh lunge storm wood so while we're in this state this larger state we can uh, we can do more damage uh, and you get that aura kind of that green aura around you uh, you can't look at the uh, the the uh, stats or anything when when to see how well uh, that's buffed and that, but um, oh, you have grapple line as well. So while you're in the supercharge, you have that grapple line that pulls them over to you. Let me just get that grapple line up. Snags and stuns your target to pull it in close. So while you've got that supercharge activated, you've also you've also got a uh, sort of extra power that replaces the supercharged one. And you can see uh, that you're supercharged by the size and the kind of green aura around you. And then you return back to your normal size. So there you go guys. That's a uh, look at um, Bane and his powers. And thanks for watching. Bye.